You guys have been waiting long enough for it. Guess what? Here it is. It's the cell activator recipe I use. Hey all you fine folks, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is America from America's Abstracts. If you're new here, hi! I like to create fluid art as a way to cope with my various chronic illnesses. So as a result of that, you get a new how-to and or creation video twice a week on Thursdays and Sundays. The long awaited cell activator recipe. Disclaimer, this is not my recipe. I did not actually come up with this. This is Shelly Cruiser's recipe, Shelly Art. So if you really want to get further in your art and take it to the next level, I recommend taking her course. If you would like, I can actually give you my code for 15% off right here. It's definitely worth it, you guys. So just saying. Okay, folks, I have quite a few to show you what I'm doing. Um, a couple different brands. I got Golden Brand in the Iridescent Copper Fine, and then I also have Payne's Gray. And then I have a few from Liquitex, that's the Gauche. And it's kind of like a soft body. I got fluorescent violet. I have vivid lime green. I have bright aqua green. And then I have deoxazine purple, which is like my favorite purple from the very get go of doing any sort of fluid art. It's typically what I've tried to steer myself away from, but I want to make a really good CA from it. So. So aside from your paint, you're going to need Australian Floetrol. This is the magic juice that you would need. I always shake it up nice and good. And when I'm testing out a new cell activator, I will use my 5 ounce portion cups like I do with my colors. Um, now for colors like white or black that I use all the time, I have these little squirt bottle, squeeze bottles that work pretty darn good, I would say. Um, yeah, and so I try to squeeze them out anytime I am getting lower and lower to keep the air out, because this keeps it long, good for longer. So, aside from the paint, and the Australian Floetrol and some good portion cups that are tight sealing. I have my nice and painty and resiny uh, kitchen scale that I got last year. Still running strong. I've had to change the batteries out a couple times. I always, when I have smaller amounts, always make sure, um, make sure it's on milliliters. There we go and then zero that out. And so I always do a three to one ratio of Australian Floetrol to whatever paint I wanna use for my cell activator is. So in this smaller example for all of these, I'm going to do 15 mils of Australian Floetrol, but I weigh that out because I've just had better luck when I weigh it out as opposed to using like a, uh, like a tablespoon or something. All right, so I want to shake it up just a little bit longer. It's been a bit since I There we go, 15. And then I'm just gonna start setting these aside so I have them all weighed out and I know they're good. All right. All right, there we 
go. And then I'm gonna need to make more white. So we're gonna zero that out. And I always make bigger amounts for this, so. I always do at least twice the amount. And then after I get done using my Aussie Flow Troll, I always squeeze out all the extra air I can. Like that. That way it lasts longer. For the white, I always use Amsterdam Titanium White. But I am all done with my scale for now. Now, I'm going to, I'm going to take my one teaspoon, which is five milliliters, and okay, I'm going to do the white one first. Alright, so, since I did 30 mils, I'm going to do the five mil twice to keep true to the three to one. It's always fun getting it into this bottle too. Trying to not get it everywhere. So in my bottles, when I do my larger amounts, I go to the uh, Dollar Tree, which is I go there for a lot of my uh, random supplies for like, resin top coating and all of that. It's where I get all my silicone ladles for my paint to be able to not just glop it on for my pillow paint. All right, and then if you're wondering what this tool I'm using is, it's actually a, uh, it's a silicone brush set for like sculpting and stuff for like clay, but it's worked out really well for, you know, little things like scraping out in here. I go to the Dollar Tree and get some marbles from them and I clean them off with some isopropyl alcohol and then use them in here. So that extra sound you can hear when it's shaking up. And yes, you need to shake this up like crazy because otherwise your cell activator won't work as well as it could. Whoop. And then let's not ruin things. So, let's start going through with the colors, shall we? So, same thing. Haven't opened these yet, so it's pretty exciting. Jeez. Oh, All right, well, this is gonna be my purple cell activator because silly me. This is almost like a golden fluids consistency, I didn't realize. So, let's do the Payne's Gray. Doesn't need a lot. Just a little schmidgen. I think I'm gonna need to do that for all my gauche. All right, 
folks. So, yesterday I mixed up a whole bunch of cell activators. I got fluorescent violet. I got vivid lime green. Payne's gray. Deoxazine purple. Bright aqua green. Copper. And I mixed up more white. And of course, like I said, uh, that cell activator recipe is going to be in the video description.